Hi everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're all well and safe and having a great day. It's a little bit cooler here today, so I've got the old hoodie on to keep me uh, nice and toasty while I'm working. Um, I came across this app on the iPhone, which allows you to add dynamic lighting to a photo. So if we look here on the left, we've got the original photo and on the right, got the one that's got all this mood lighting going off, which is going to help me greatly when I come to doing a painting. So I just want to take the time to show you the app in case you're interested in using something like this yourself. So let's just get straight into it. So this is an app called Apollo Immersive Illumination. I'm looking at it here on the um, App Store and you can see it applies lighting to your photos and it's intelligent lighting that it follows the, the shape of the object that is casting light on. You can see in that little video there. So I can't tell you how much it is, I'm afraid, because I got it for free um that they was doing a special offer where it was free so where it tells you the price it just says open so you'd have to check that out but that's what it looks like on the app store so how do we use it well first of all we've got to go to the camera and we need to take a picture and i want to take a picture of this uh vase of roses um that sat in our living room so I'm just going to pose that quickly. Oh, and we've got to be in portrait mode. This is really important. If you're not in portrait mode, it won't work and, and the photo won't show up in the app. So snap a picture. There we go. So that's all we need to do with the camera. If I go to photos, we can look at that now. And um, we can see it's okay, but the lighting is a little bit flat. And I'd like it to enhance it a little bit to paint because um, I could do it in the painting, but uh, to do that, I, I've got to use my imagination. And, um, you know, you know, I do stuff like that all the time, but this is to make it really easy. So let's come out to the photos and look for the, uh, for the Apollo app. Here we are. So let's open up the Apollo app. And in the bottom right hand corner, we can see my photo. And when we open it up, it's already applied a light. And if I move the light around, you can see it puts shadows, dynamic shadows on the flowers and on the wall. And notice it follows, if you look at the wall particularly, you can see how it follows the contours of the wall. So it's using the um, information that it gets from your uh, portrait photo to enhance the lighting so my lighting's coming from the right hand side that's where the window is in the room so I'm going to put my camera uh, my light there and then I'm going to change it because obviously that's not very good so first of all I click on this button that says distance and then I can move the light further away from the scene and it will light more of the area and it's a little less bright so I could go up quite a way and then click OK or the plus and, and I could up the brightness a little bit now I've moved it a little bit further away like so but to me it's still a bit flat because I need some light on the vase I think that would sort of reflect some light as well so um, I, I, I click the tick to accept what I've done so far. Then at the bottom, there's this plus button. I touch that and it adds another light. And I think that's about the right distance away. Uh, maybe just a little closer. So I'll knock the brightness back. Just push that back a little bit. There we go. I click OK and I can export that by sharing it and just saving it to photos, save image. 
but I can work on it more. I think a, a bit of um, light at the top at the back would look okay as well. So I'm going to add one more light, push this right up to the top, um, take the brightness right down. about there let's change the distance it wants to be a lot closer so it's just catching those at the back a bit maybe move the light there just over this way a little bit that's cool i like that select okay and then we can start adding effects um well first of all i'm going to share this one save this one as well so i'm getting a, a collection of images to share. Oh, um, I didn't want to do that one. Let's delete that light. I'd add a, uh, an extra light. What I want to do is look at the drama effects. So uh, it's, we've got this little icon here that says drama, touch that. And by sliding that along, notice how it really lifts. It sort of adds a lot more chroma, um, it puts a lot of it in shadow and gets this really dramatic effect. And that one might be quite nice. Um, I just wonder if I need to move this light over a touch. Like that, say. Yeah, that's okay. I'm liking the drama. Always love a bit of drama. And then one more effect, we could uh, remove background to get a really dramatic effect there we go and I click to accept that and I want to export that one more time so I can come out of the app now I can open up the photos and we look at the first one so that's the one that I took initially in, in the portrait mode and then we can scroll through them and we can see how I've dramatically changed it and I can take that and use that uh, as to as a starting point for a painting and that's exactly what I'm going to do so in my next video I am going to uh, paint this uh, scene this this vase of flowers so uh, that's it, Apollo, a really nice little app to help you add dramatic lighting to your photos. And I can see loads of opportunities uh, where I could use this in portrait, sort of take uh, a portrait photo and then add some really cool Rembrandt lighting, say, to, to um, do a portrait. So I might use it again uh, and demo how to do that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up, as always is much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i've got stacks and stacks of videos all about digital painting i'd love to be sharing them all with you so don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane keep painting and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye